So China, of course, the Asian para champions, Asian Games champions, and defending Paralympic champions. We've got three Chinese athletes, two in class five, one in class four, and they take on the two Serbs, Borislava Peric Rankovic and Nada Matic, both class four athletes. So the Serbian athletes, the hugely experienced Borislava Peric Rankovic, world number two in class four, has played one of the Chinese athletes once, but of course when you do mix up the classifications, you often get players going head to head who've never met before. Her record isn't great against uh, the Chinese player she has played. She's played 12 times, but only managed to win once. And these Chinese players really are a formidable force. Two uh, world number one's in there, a world number two, and of course, Zhang Bian has already won a gold in these games, so the Chinese will be feeling confident and they will want to defend the title. They won in London, so that's how they line up. We've got Zhang Bian and Gu Gai first up in the doubles against Perotrankovic and Nadamatic. Yeah, China certainly the strong favourites for this one. I mean, their record in wheelchair table tennis has been terrific all throughout the other games as well they've had 11 goals in total at these games already and you'd expect them to add to that but you have to say Peric Jankovic Peric Rankovic has uh, won gold already here but in uh, class four and she should be brimming with confidence and Matic took a bronze too so they should be able to sort of relax and knowing that they've achieved already at the Paralympics really just play with a bit of freedom against these two knowing that they are very much the underdogs interesting that the Chinese team has opted to put their two class five athletes up first for the doubles knowing that Serbia the Serbian Serbian athletes are both class four of course the way this works we have a best of three rounds starting with the doubles followed by the individual matches was fascinating as well uh, of course uh, Gu and Zhang met each other in the final didn't they of the class five and so they were enemies one day and then today they've got to be best of friends and working together to try and take gold players just inspecting each other's bats as they're entitled to do just to see that everything's in order and then we'll begin with a two-minute warm-up China have been uh, dominant, as I say, for years and years in Paralympic Games. 46 golds they've won before these games. And a total of 78 medals. They sit right at the top of the, uh, the medal table in para table tennis. They've always dominated able-bodied table tennis too. It is a, a real culture in China. It's almost difficult for opponents when you see someone in, in a Chinese shirt straight away you just think this is going to be tough and I think that is going to be the case today for the Serbian pair absolutely but they've just done so fantastically well to be in the final didn't even feature in the top three in London they were fourth there so they've already gone at least two places better but the Chinese pair appearing in well going for their fourth consecutive team gold the, the two players here, just 27 and 30, and already with a handful of team golds between them in the Paralympic Games. So hugely experienced. And we'll certainly be looking for gold today. I don't think the fact that Zhang already has gold from the singles again will mean that she should be able to relax a little more. You know, she knows that if she comes away from the Rio Paralympic Games, that she's already achieved. Already achieved a you know what she was wanting to do coming into this one but I'm sure she'll want to get a gold medal as well for her team and the likes of uh, Gu. Of course they've also got uh, Zhou Ying as part of their team as well. And they'll be hoping that she uh, isn't needed if they can go two rubbers to zero up. It's not not bad to have a player of Zhou Ying's class is it in reserve world number one in class four? Yeah pretty handy. I'm sure she'll be cheering on these two. I'm hoping that 
like that. Either Gu or Zhang get the job done as well in the in the singles. It was interesting though to watch para table tennis doubles. Of course, you can pick on one player; they don't have to alternate. So if they do find a weakness in one of the players, they can just keep going back there time and time again. Of course, Matic won the bronze. Peric Rankovic won the gold in class four. So all very tidy players. So the tactic is to often go down the middle of the table to cause confusion. It doesn't cause confusion, but you cut out the angles, you don't open the table up. I think that will be a tactic today for Serbia. They'll be looking to keep this nice and tight. Well, the return is a little high. And right on top of it is Matic. Lots of slice, both from the Serbians, as I say. They're looking just to neutralize the point. They're not allowing either of the Chinese players to attack the ball. Pretty solid and a good start from Serbia so far. Slight confusion there, whether Matic was going to go for the ball. Maybe just put off Peric Vrankovic momentarily. Top spin backhand. Oh. I said they'll be underdogs, the Serbian pair, but they are really up for this one. Peric Rankovic in particular. She won gold in the singles, so clearly feeling confident and really taking the game to this Chinese pair. Been a little conservative in the opening exchanges. Yeah, it's certainly not as quick a start as we might have expected, is it? But both sets of players just looking like they're trying to feel each other out first. That is it as well. You know, it's a gold medal match, start of the team event. There will be nerves. Always a lot of pressure on Chinese shoulders in particular. As we mentioned before, you know, Peric Rankovic is a, a very experienced player. I'm doing everything right at the moment just to test out these Chinese duo. Oh. Again, going down the middle of the table, causing confusion. Knifing down the back of the ball and putting a lot of backspin on it. It's been a dominant 
display so far from Peric Rankovic. drop to be honest because he's barely made a mistake but a couple of unforced errors coming in for Peric Jankiewicz. And that's what you can't afford to do against this Chinese pair because any weakness, any any kind of mistake they will capitalize on it. Yeah, they've been playing a very uh, consistent brand of table tennis in this final so far. A vicious serve. <laughs> Led throughout, now China in front, right at the crux of this opening game. <laughs> well, they've just raised their game when it matters most, haven't they? And that is two game points for Zhang and Gu. To secure the first game in this doubles. That's a good serve, though. Interested that Zhang tried to play that on the backhand side. And taking on the forehand side, seemed to get a little tangled. Still a game point, though, for China. Oh, what a point that is. And it is first blood to China. They were behind for the majority of the game. But Gu and Zhang, after this fabulous rally, are able to take the first game by 11 points to 9. And there's confirmation of that first game. Zhang and Gu stealing it, really. Peric and Rankovic by 11 points to 9. So here we go for game two. China will be looking to continue that momentum. They did get off to a slowish start. Serbia will be confident though. They did hold their own in the first game, but ultimately China pounced. Yeah, there's a lot of positives in that first game for Serbia. It's so often you see it. In top level sport of any kind, it is the favourites who tend to just raise their game when it matters most. Be a nervous start from Gu and Zhang, but they should have settled now, having taken the first game. And as you say, continuing the momentum early on in this second game. Plenty of noise in there. Rio Centro Pavilion 3 today, and the crowds will be treated to some really excellent table tennis. And lots of gold medal matches on offer for them today. Of course, uh, early on in the event, there was eight tables in action. Today, there's just the two. The, uh, the fans here have liked to get involved whenever they can. A little easier for the players to concentrate with just the two tables going on rather than the eight. And no Brazilians in action at the moment. There's a, always a cacophony of noise whenever a Brazilian team or player is playing. And get 
themselves on the board, Serbia. Important to stop the run against them. That's the first point in six that they've won. A really clever serve, that one. They're just cutting it away and putting a bit of side spin on the ball and testing out these Chinese duo in terms of putting it into their bodies, into their elbows. They're just having to think whether to play a backhand or a forehand a lot of the time. It's a vicious backhand, though, whipping over the top of the ball. Beginning to be more and more aggressive. The Chinese pair. Really brushing over the top of the ball there. Nice depth as well. And for once, Rich Rankovic can't control it. A nice healthy 7 2 lead in this second game. I do wonder whether Serbia will call a timeout at any point soon or whether they'll just think that this one's got away from them. Of course, that is the fascinating part of table tennis. You can call the timeout at any stage. Interesting. I thought they may well have called it when they were down about 4-1 early on. Ah! It's just quality. Time and time again, Gu, the aggressor. Really has been interesting. Got a little lucky there, China. That is That's colliding, but give themselves eight game points. But it's been fascinating the fact that they just felt their way into the match, started quite defensively, but now they're the team really looking to play all the table tennis. And they take the second game. A far more dominant display from the team expected to claim gold, and they're looking good at the moment. As China go two games to zero up. Second game by 11 points to two. As I say, it was a different brand of table tennis in that game. Far more aggressive, looking to really take it to Serbia, and it worked. And that's the standings at the moment. 11-9, 11-2, China lead. So here we go, the Chinese already back at the table for game three, keen to get this one wrapped up. They know that if they do win this one, they'll take the first round and they'll be keen to conserve their energy for the individual match, I think. And of course, when they need to win two rounds, so if they go two love up, then they will be the gold medalists. And it was interesting that they were at the table so quickly. It shows that their game plan is working right now. They are happy with the way things are going. It's all the onus on Serbia here to change things up. You just wonder about the psychological effect of going two games down as well. Yeah, particularly when they started so well. You know, they were ahead in that first game. It would have been a real body blow to have lost it. You've got to give these two so much credit. They've uh, mixed up the spins superbly well. And there it is again. And I'm not sure whether they're going to use the backspin or brush over the ball and go for the top spin. And early on in the first game, they were missing when they were attacking, but now they definitely found their range. Superb reaction speed as well from well, both sets of athletes, but in particular the Chinese. And what a cue. That was some rally. And this time it's Peric Rankovic and Serbia who come out on top of it. The speed here is incredible. 
not just the speed, but the, the fact that they're putting so much spin on the ball, they're having to react to where the, the ball bounces and how it spins off to the side or kicks up off the table. Well, whatever was said by the Serbian coach seems to have worked. They've come out with a, a newfound aggression and positivity in the Serbian team. Good deep serve. Interesting the, uh, the conversations going on between Matic and Rankovic. They're not afraid to uh, tell each other quite firmly what they believe the other player has done right or wrong. dynamic yeah, the Serbian side of course you had that Matic I was telling Peric Rankovic what she needed to do yet Peric Rankovic is the the older player at 44 and she's the one who's won gold in their class in the singles showing her confidence Matic yeah, and Peric Rankovic certainly seemed to be bossing things didn't she in the first game yeah, we're not seeing that the Chinese pair select Matic especially either Getting into the rallies, they are mixing it up with who they're attacking. She's doing a good job of holding her own in this match. An especially good job considering that the Chinese pair are both a class higher than the two Serbian athletes as well, so... Definitely more of a contest than you would think on paper. And you can tell, I think, the, the Serbian pair are enjoying this. It's, it's important for them to do that. It's not often you get a gold medal match in the Paralympic Games. Always going to be a tough ask against these two. So well drilled. Again, just a little too much height there from Peric Rankovic. Gu able to pounce on the backhand. Oh, that is stunning. What a shot that is. No time for Peric Rankovic or Matic to react as it goes in between them. And I think Serbia have indeed called their first time out because they are running out of time in this opening match. So things looking uh, pretty good at the moment for the Chinese team. Two games to love up and also leading the third game 11 points to five. Well, it'll be interesting to see the effect that this timeout has on the Serbian pair. Just two points down, still this game is within their grasp, but China have the serve. Yeah, you do often wonder with these... Uh, timeouts that are called I mean some of them will be to discuss tactics but other times it's used just to to stem the flow to stop uh, the momentum the Chinese player has won the last couple of points as I say they're running out of time Serbia hit these pet four points away from taking this first match Just more quality from Zhang and Gu. Side spin on the ball here. See it just cuts away to the right hand side and it's lulled into attacking the backhand. But nice response from Serbia. Superb sliced forehand. The side spin on the ball, cutting around it. This time it's Gu who can't control the shot. And they are uh, 
playing it to Gu time and time again. Remember, Gu is the silver medalist. Zhang is the gold medalist from the last five singles. Just feeling that maybe it is uh, Gu who's struggling a little more out of the two. Just less experience than her partner as well at this level. See if we continue to go back to her time and time again. Eight points all. That's just wonderful play. Serbian pair throwing everything in the Chinese pair, but Gu was able to hang with the and Zhang with the huge forehand. And they're a point away from taking this opening match. A few too many errors from Matic and Coach Rankovic. That was a chance. And just pushing it long. Still, match point. And there it is. It is Zhang and Gu who secure the first rubber in this team final. They have defeated Serbia in straight games. Valiant effort from Peric Rankovic and Matic. who pushed the Chinese pair really hard in two of those games. And at the end of the day, the class told Zhang and Gu winning 11-9, 11-2, 11-9 in 22 minutes. the match point I did target goo but I have to say she was able to deal with everything that Serbia threw at her Zhang was very aggressive whenever she got the chance to open up the the table she did so a good win for Zhang and goo of China against uh, Peric Rankovic and Matic of Serbia they win 11-9 11-2 that's the uh, the order of the day in this gold medal match in the women's team class four and five have a singles next up and of course if China go two matches to zero up it will be gold for China and silver for Serbia
So Bian, Zhang Bian early at the table for the first of the individual matches. Uh, of course, China with an early lead. They won the doubles, uh, beating Serbia in straight, straight games. But uh, very interesting that China have opted to put their world number one in class five up first. Clearly think they can get the job done in two rounds. And uh, Zhang Bian goes against Boroslava Peric Rankovic, of course, both gold medalists in their respective classes, but that woman there is a class higher and will certainly fancy her chances. Well, it's always interesting, the, the psychology behind this, because, of course, Peric Rankovic has just lost to Zhang in the doubles. As I say, there were a lot of positives there in the doubles for Serbia. OK, it was straight games, but a couple of them were 11-9, and Peric Rankovic in particular showed she was able to mix it up, mix up the spins, and I'm sure she'll be looking to do the same and just really test out Zhang. Rankovic, who's very experienced at 44 years of age, has won gold in the Class 4 singles. Of course, a silver medalist from four years ago and eight years ago in the Class 4 singles as well. So there's a number of medals to her tally in her individual collection. And has nothing to lose today against Zhang, who is now a four-time gold medalist to make it five and all by the age of 30 which is really quite incredible but those early points will be absolutely crucial for her at Trankovic. she can't afford to let Zhang take too much of an early lead well an early lead at all really um, just in terms of the psychology of, uh, of the match going a few points down against the Chinese athlete in this game will uh, won't be a good feeling for her. Yeah, particularly with the momentum of having lost that doubles. But yeah, so it's very important to start strong for Perich Rankovic. She's a focused individual. And uh, as I say, it was played with uh, very little fear in that doubles match. And I think uh, she won't be overawed by the occasion. And just try and enjoy it against, as you say, the, the world number one in the class five, Zhang Bian. But what a player she is. I mean, she has every shot in the book. She seems to get the balance right as well between defence and attack. We saw in that final starting very consistently. She's feeling her way into the match before opening up the table a little more. I wonder whether we'll see the same again from her, just to suss out her opponent. Maybe not be too aggressive and too positive early on. But she always looks so composed when she's mixing up those shots. And there's some real power behind them, but she makes it look effortless. And we are underway, it's China to serve. I think the, uh, the Brazilian crowd here as well will look to try and get behind Serbia. They do love an underdog in Brazil. And they'll no doubt be hoping that Serbia can take this to a third rubber. It's a beautiful backhand. To just angle her body, rushing over the top of the ball hit. In the diagonal into the corner. the danger for Perec Rankovic. Doesn't want to allow Zhang to really open up and go big off her forehand wing. It's vicious. Swatted away. Able to take the ball so early, Zhang, her reaction skills are the best in the world, you would think, at this level. Just showing that 
the, the positive body language, Perich Rankovic. She isn't afraid of this one. Big fist clench towards Yang. But Zhang, as ever, just staying so composed, being affected by anything that goes on over the other side of the table. She's getting on with her business. And that's a wondrous sliced forehand. Look at where this one landed on the table, cutting it away. Side spin on the ball. No chance for Perich Rankovic. Yeah, that's the, the spot on the table, isn't it, that these sitting athletes really struggle to reach. If you can hit the ball there, you're almost guaranteed a point. Mm. Tough to hit the ball there, though. Because uh, both of these players look to try and go down the middle of the court. That's why it, in that wheelchair table tennis, it's important not to open up the court too much so you don't give your opponent the angles. Just working the ball from side to side there, Zhang. She's made a good start to this second rubber. Well, had to move to try and stretch to get to the forehand side, Perich Rankovic. Didn't really do enough with the ball having got there. And again, though, what defence from Zhang, able to turn defence into attack in just a couple of shots. Fierce competitor, 44-year-old. Even though she is the underdog for this one, you can see that she always puts the weight of expectation on her own shoulders, believes that she should be winning. That's just too good. Perez Rankovic trying everything. She went big early with the topspin backhand into the corner, then neutralised the point by chiselling it down the middle of the table, but Zhang at the moment is just purring four in fact well this four game points now first one saved by Perich Rankovic this is the second Oh, that's massive table tennis from Perich Rankovic. And look at the reaction too. Huge forehand, big backhand from side to side. And for once, Zhang can do nothing. So then, three game points saved. Can Zhang get over the line in this opening game of this second match? Well, really struggling now and all the momentum with the 44-year-old Serb. Four game points have come and gone. One left. But gets it in the end. And it got a little shaky at the end of the game for Zhang. But she finds a way to take it in six minutes by 11 points to nine. Just missing the table by an inch or so. Perich Rankovic trying to make a good start to this second match. Zhang takes the first game. 11 points to So Zhang Bian back at the table early again. Clearly keen to get on with things after taking that first game 
in six minutes. But of course, she was pushed hard by Peric Rangovic, saving those four game points, and that should really give her a boost. Well, yeah, it's tough to say who's got the momentum, really, heading into this second game after the way Peric Rankovic finished that first game. She's won five out of the last six points. And finds herself a game down. She has been playing fantastic table tennis, and it's just a shame that she hasn't actually been able to register a win yet. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you can see what she's trying to do here against Zhang. But as soon as she opens up the table at all, Zhang is just so good, so potent. So Peric Rankovic has got to ensure when she does go into the corners, it's very, very good. And, uh, that was a huge backhand from her, but it still comes back. Zhang's just so good on defence and on attack. She's got everything. Yeah. Uh, that's a nice angle from Peric Rankovic. And then a crunching forehand up the middle of the table. Oh, it's just so good. I think for once, Peric Rankovic is resigned to just saying that's too good. Being pushed and shoved all over the table, throwing everything at her Chinese opponent, but time and time again, coming up with the goods. And that's a lovely little angle too. Took it so early. Just angling the bat and angling the ball away from her Serbian opponent. way that the backhand is hit from Zhang and again even on the defense able to come up with a winner just a reactive forehand oh but that's special like the little celebration too from Peric Rankovic just leaning one way here and then brushing around the side of the ball Not more accurate than that either I've got to say, I love the positivity of Peric Rankovic. You know, all these clenched fists in the direction of Jiang. Just saying, look, I still believe, I'm still up for this one. Even though the, the scoreline against Serbia right now isn't too great. Remember, they're a match down. This is the team gold medal match. China won the doubles. And Zhang, the world number one in control of the singles at the moment, having taken the first game 11-9. Hold the five-point cushion in the second game. But we did see her lose that five-point cushion in the first, so anything could happen. She's working the table beautifully well. We've seen a few angles from Zhang. As you say, though, yeah, Peric Rankovic fought back hard in that first game, but she's going to have to do that again. That is a way of stopping your opponent from playing those angles, going down the middle of the table, not opening it up. If you're using the backspin, it's uh, a lot harder to hit topspin off backspin. Just trying to neutralize the point as much as possible, Peric Rankovic. Oh, well, that's a little bit of fortune there. 
I think that is the, the way forward for the Serbian player, just to try and make things as tough as possible for Zhang and just to keep it as simple as possible. And that is game point, five of them in fact for Zhang Bian. We'll see if she can finish this one off quickly. Not just yet. But that is it. She takes the first and the second. And she has got a very comfortable lead here. If she wins this next game, the gold medal is going back to China. Yep, such a polished performance so far from Zhang. And as you say, a game away now from yet another gold. She's already got four to her name. Can she make it five? Leads 11 9, 11 6. So here we go for game three in the first individual match, second overall, and Zhang Bian of China with a two game lead. And she'll know that she is just one game away from winning that team gold medal. Third game, China to serve. I just think Perch Rankovic needs to just keep going down the middle of the table, keep slicing the ball. Make Zhang win this rather than give it to it. Well, that's good. Zhang not being allowed to open up the table too much, and as soon as she did, Perch Rankovic counter punching with the forehand. Oh, yes, that is magical. Great angle initially by Zhang. Perish Rankovic using that angle, but what reactions. Fantastic celebration as well. Just shows that despite the Chinese lead, she's not beaten. She still wants this. Still demanding the highest quality of herself as well. You can see by the reaction after losing that point. Oh dear. There was a chance, but it's the backspin on the ball that makes it that much tougher to control, particularly when you then apply topspin on it. Just overcooking that forehand. Three, two. Oh, what a rally. That is Zhang who comes out on top of it. Perich Rankovic will know she needs to cut these errors out. I mean, she didn't do much wrong there at all. Couldn't really have played a better point, but when you're up against the world number one and four-time gold medalist, those are the types of points that you lose. Absolutely, and she did ever so well to return those shots that Zhang Bian was firing at her at such acute angles. Just taking the chance to towel off as players are in, are allowed to do after every six points, and she'll just want to regroup a bit. Mm, it's more quality. It just hasn't given her opponent any cheap points. So rarely have we seen an unforced error from Jack. Been yet another wonderfully composed performance, tactically sound. 
Jacqueline Kulich understandably calling the time out here. So that's the situation. Zhang Bian, the world number one in control, leading 11-9, 11-6 and 5-2 up. She is six points away from winning another gold for China in this gold medal match in the team event. So Peretrankovic has the serve. She is three points down and intriguing contest. She's managed to pull plenty of points back, but the gold medal now firmly in China's sights. It was always going to be tough for Serbia today. No doubt about that. They did superbly well just to get into the final. Yeah, and Peretrankovic fourth in the teams in London, fourth in the teams in Beijing, and already gone at least two places better than that. Yeah, and she has had a, a terrific Rio Paralympics, of course, winning gold in the singles as well, which was going one better in her previous two Olympic Games. So I'm sure even if she isn't able to win gold here with Serbit, she will look back on the Rio Paralympics as a real success for her. And that's not to say she's uh, going to give this one up. Still fighting. Seven, five. Some uncharacteristic errors creeping in here from Zhang Bian. Do you think perhaps the uh, pressure is mounting now that she knows she is so close to that gold? She's just perhaps losing focus slightly. Yeah, even though, you know, she's been there and done it before time and time again, you know, she's been in these situations and positions before, but it's still a gold medal at the Paralympic Games, and you have to understand that a player is going to be nervous with that carrot dangle down in front of you. She can see that gold medal now, four points away, leading 7-5 in the third game, having taken the first two games. So, yeah, maybe understandably, the nerves in the system for Zhang. And China have taken the gold in the last eight years. They're looking to win it for a third straight year with Zhang in the team. Oh, that's so, so good. Great patient play from Zhang. Didn't pull the trigger until it was necessary. Reaching ever closer to yet another gold for China in the table tennis. She is a point away. China, who haven't dropped a match in this women's team event, now have five gold medal points. That just the four. Brave play from Peric Rankovic. It's a gutsy ball to go for it. Gold medal point down. Still a match point for Jack.
Oh, well. Talk about fine margins. Clinging on a little, Serbia. Just nicking the back edge of the table. Third gold medal point. It's gold for Zhang and gold again for China in the wheelchair table tennis. China's 12th gold at the para table tennis here at Rio 2016. Zhang secures a fourth, in fact, a fifth gold for herself. What a performance. And China take the tie by two matches to love. Quality from this young player. An absolutely imperious display. I mean, she was pushed by Peric Rankovic at those crucial moments when she was closing in on games and matches, but held her nerve every time. An absolutely clinical and ruthless display from the world number one. And she collects her second gold of these games uh, to add to the many, many Paralympic gold she's already got at just the age of 30. It's a 95th gold for China of the games in total. It was a dominant display. I have to say, Peric Rankovic did everything she could, but at the end of the day, the world number one, Zhang Bian, just two strong wins, 11-9, 11-6, 11-7, to take the gold for China as they go up by two matches to love. So confirmation of the gold medal, China and their team take the uh, women's class four to five team event, beating Serbia in the final. So Serbia have to settle for silver. And this was how it was done. Zhang and Gu won in straight games against Peric Rankovic and Matic. And then Zhang getting China over the line. They don't need to play a third singles or a second singles, I should say. After Zhang defeated Peric Rankovic also in straight games. There we go, confirmation of the overall result. People's Republic of China 2, 